Hi everyone, you're on Moby and I'm happy to have you back on my channel. And tell me, which Titan do you imagine when you hear about Skibbity Toilet? Personally I always picture Titan TV Man. So in this video we will look at all the battles of Titan TV Man in the original Skibbity Toilet universe. I will analyze these episodes, we will analyze his mistakes and assume what would have happened if he had not made them. This video is quite unusual, so if you want to see the continuation of this section on my channel, then let me know in the comments under the video, and also do not forget to subscribe to the channel, because up to 500,000 subscribers are just a little bit left, and also put likes and send this video to your friends, and also join my discord server, because all new information about new episodes of Skibbity Toilet appears there, but anyway we start. So the first appearance of Titan TV Man was in episode 41, God I remember those times when we first saw the Titan of a new race in Skibbity Toilet and it was just crazy, then it seemed like there would be no one cooler than him. And that's how it was. The Alliance has only recently met the agents of TV Man they decided to show the Alliance their main weapon, specifically their Titan. In this episode, a rather large group of Skibbity Toilet was to destroy a squad of cameramen and spikermen in the dust, but on the battlefield he appeared. Out of the big black smoke, he appeared from behind a building. A big agent from the TV lair. And by the way before it appeared one of the TV men told the agents to put on the protective lens they got last episode 40. And like I said Titan appeared out of a big cloud of smoke and his reactor was glowing a bright purple color. Without thinking for a long time, he immediately activated his red crazy glow, which caused the skibbity toilets to self-destruct. And after successfully completing the fight, the POV cameraman turned to look at the Titan, and the Titan showed a friendly smiley face in response. And that was Titan TV Man's very first introduction to the Alliance. Next, Titan TV Man appeared in episode 44. After Skibbity Toilet developed special protective goggles, regular TV Man's agents could not resist them, so Titan entered the battle again. He was very angry and his fighting style in this episode was extremely aggressive. But Skibbity Toilet were calm, because they were sure that if they are wearing glasses, they should not be afraid of TV mans, but how wrong they were, because they did not think that Titan will use physical force, and he used it to all his 200%. And even when he was attacked by armored toilets, he did not give up, the speakers flew to his aid, after which the Titan TV man gained new abilities and he became known as Titan Cinema Man, because he used not only his radiation, but also a loud sound that allowed him to break glasses at the toilets. And it would seem that this battle was won again, but no, because his mission was not just to clear the territory from the enemies, but also to cure Titan Speaker Man by destroying the Skibbity Parasite that controlled him. And already in the next 45 episode there was an epic battle between Titan TV Man and infected Titan Speaker Man. And even though Titan Speaker Man tried to damage TV Man in every possible way, his special strong armor protected him well, and his aggressive fighting style showed Titan TV Man as a true alpha male. And when the Titan had an opportunity to destroy the Parasite, Speaker Man turned around and Titan TV Man accidentally ripped off one of his speakers and in fact it made Titan TV Man even more angry, after that he gave in to the feeling of anger and did not plan his fight. He wanted only one thing, just to destroy the parasite and he didn't care at what cost he would do it. Then in episode 46 the Titan TV Man's chase after the infected Titan Speaker Man continues, but he manages to fly away, and TV Man is left alone with one of the new at that time dangerous enemy. But despite the special abilities of this Skibbity Toilet, the Titan was easily able to defeat him and he did it with great pleasure. Next, the Titan TV Man reappeared in episode 47. The infected Titan Speaker Amon brought him to this place on purpose, because it was a trap, but TV Man realized it too late and realized it only after looking around. At the same time the very happy Titan G Toilet appeared, and he had a very sly smile, he realized that he could not defeat Titan TV Man alone, and he was not even wearing protective goggles, but the Titan thought that it was a fair one-on-one -on -one fight and immediately used his Buzum Glow and if he continued his radiation, he would most likely be able to defeat Titan G Toilet in this episode. But that was the plan of the toilets. While the Titan was distracted, one of the Skibbity Toilet started to cut off parts of the Titan, then when the Titan was distracted by another opponent, G Toilet again continued his attack and managed to destroy the Titan's jet turbine. But TV Man did not give up, he continued the fight and activated his crazy radiation again. But at that moment an infected Titan suddenly appeared and critically damaged TV Man, after which he could not continue the fight. The opponents also wanted to infect the Titan with the Parasite, 
but they didn't take into account that the Titan could teleport safely. They probably thought that he didn't have enough energy, but luckily he had enough energy to move to the secret base of TV Man agents, where he was properly repaired and improved, and only 20 episodes later, the Titan came back and showed the enemies who's the daddy. His return was very epic and he showed up exactly when he was expected, when he was needed. He easily defeated the Titan scientist, showing us all his ferocity and the fact that his fighting style has not changed, he is still very aggressive. And we can see that from his next fights, when several of G-Toilet's Titan clones showed up, he was the first to rush into the fight, because he was probably very angry at G-Toilet for what he did to him in episode 47. During the fights he showed us his new abilities, namely his TVs can detach and fight on their own, and each TV had its own radiation. His body is also able to fight and function even if he's not wearing any TVs, although I think that's because he's controlled by a TV that's on his belt. Also now Titan is able to literally suck the energy out of his opponents, we can see it in the moment when one of G-Toilet clones tried to destroy him, and TV Man in turn just absorbed the energy and redirected it to the opponent. Also Titan is now literally impossible to infect with Skibbity Parasite, because its energy is so powerful that a normal parasite can't withstand it. Also, he can not only absorb energy, but also give it back. This was demonstrated in episode 69, when the Titan cameraman did not have enough energy to power the new parts. And also such moment happened in episode 70, when Titan TV Man charged Titan Speaker Amon with additional energy and he was able to defeat a large number of opponents thanks to it. But before we analyze the fight of Titan TV Man with Astro Toilet in episode 70, I want to remind you that Titan TV Man also fought with Godzilla, yes, it was real. And even though it's not canon of the series, but this animation was made by Defugbomb himself. Of course Titan easily defeated Godzilla, but agree that I would like to see Godzilla in Skibbity Toilet again. Personally I would really like to see how Godzilla destroys the toilets and it would be cool to see such a picture as for example the toilets would go to some underwater laboratory, but suddenly they would meet Godzilla and this dinosaur would just eat them. That would be really funny and crazy interesting. Maybe I'll do that animation myself, but believe me, it's not easy. And by the way all my new animations are released on my second channel Moby Reaction, so welcome, all the necessary links will be in the first attached comment, but we continue. Let's go back to the events of episode 70, specifically when the Titans first met Astro Toilet and he would have been able to defeat them, because when TV Man used the teleporter to cut Astro Toilet, he was easily able to rip the blade out of Titan's hands and throw it at high speed into TV Man's screen, but it's good that he was able to catch the blade in time, otherwise we would have had to wait 20 episodes for Titan to be repaired again. Also in the latest episode so far we were shown another new Titan ability by TV Man and that is the Shockwave. When missiles were launched at the Titans, TV Man was able to deflect them using Shockwave. And you still think it's not the strongest Titan in the Alliance? Write in the comments who you think is the strongest Titan Skibbity Toilet and why it is so. Minuses of this Titan is that he has a very aggressive fighting style, he needs to stick to tactical fighting and then his injuries will be minimized. In fact, all his defeats were because he just went into the fight. But with Astro Toilets he can't do that and if he doesn't stick to tactical fighting, his aggressive style can destroy him in an instant. 